What's up, nerds? Gosmaster here, aka G to the three, with another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest. Today's quest, after finishing off Afizan's madness, I have to apologize before we get started here. Uh, I, the video I wound up finishing at home. I shoot these videos in between errands and different things I'm doing, much like I play Puzzle Quest. But the audio at home was pretty bad because the kid, one of the kids, was sleeping. Although I was playing some Sepultura. It sounded like garbage because I was raking up against my other thing. So I apologize. I'm mindful of that. I'm aware of it. I will get it corrected next time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should be able to click on the recent videos and see the last video of me going flawless in Avisan's uh, madness. Anyways, Avisan, I don't know how you pronounce her name. Today's quest, what are we doing? Uh, I watched Nalthazar's breakdown of the different um, uh, planeswalkers and the different tiers that he has them in. And one of the planeswalkers he mentioned was uh, Luca. Hi, my name is Luca. Today's quest is we're going to go get Luca, grab him. As you can see up here, I am uh, 854 pinkies and 3,237 crystals. They're gold crystals. And I, I, I like having about 3,000 gold so that when the new set, M21, should drop next week, we should get a preview this week, and then we should get the actual update to get the cards next week. So a week from this Tuesday. So a week, nine days from today, we should have it. Don't hold your breath. That's not a guarantee. That's just what alleged. That's what normally happens. That you know we keep our fingers crossed because I'm excited for M21. As soon as we get a breakdown of what new cards are coming out, I'm going to go through and give a list of what I think are going to be chase cards for you guys, and I think they're very, very powerful stuff. But in his review, uh, Nalthazar says that this guy is extremely powerful, and I, you know, I want to see for it for myself. So I'm going to have roughly around 3,000 plus crystals by the time it's all said and done. So let's go get ourselves. A little Luca. Hi, my name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. Maybe you've seen me before. Luca, copper coat, yada yada. All right, so let's close that. Let's go to the beginner deck. Let's go get our runes. We have all of those cards. Yay. And we close that. And then the second deck you get, I think it's gold? No, it's five pink uh, runes, or I don't know what the heck those are called. And then the master deck, what am I missing? I'm missing the Spellpire Phoenix. Is that a, that's a rare from what? I have that card. I should have that card, unless it's an exclusive card. Uh, this card cannot currently be obtained from card packs. All right. So when the new set rotates in, all the cards then get moved into crafting, and I think the exclusives go in there too, where there's a certain time frame that happens before exclusives go in. But I think after the new updates, they're saying all exclusive cards go in. So they should be in there, so I should be able to craft these right out the gate. Whatevs, I'll go get it and get 20 pinky dinkies, and we'll go from there. In the meantime, let's go level Copper Coat up. Let's put my face right over Copper Coat. How's that? Yeah. Let's do a little zoom in. Yeah. That's me, Copper Coat. <laughs> all right. Anyways, uh, let's go rank him up so we can start unlocking all of these different deals. And then we'll go build a deck with him. And we'll see what his abilities are. Right now, his abilities are uh, pick one of the first three cards from your library, fetch that card, then exile the others. Exile target creature you control, then fetch the first creature with your highest cost that is X or less from your library. Move that card to play under your control. X is three plus uh, the exile creature's cost. Kind of cool. And your creatures get plus X plus X and gain menace. X is the number of creature cards in your exile. So you want to be throwing stuff into your exile by this. Let's get rocking and... All right, so I leveled him up. And as you can see... He's got 53 hit points. Uh, you're now level 16. Monster recruitment's now level one. Everything there is good. You can add one more spell to your deck. I didn't even go over this as uh, list. So he's got plus two to white, uh, minus three to blue. So he's anti-blue. Plus two to black, plus three to red. Those are pretty serious mana gains, man. That's pretty good. You got minus three to both blue and green, which is like worthless. But what is his deck uh, size? What is he able to do? Let me double check that real quick. So he can do four, three, and three right now. Let's see what he is when he's all total, though. All right, let's go back into it and keep it going. All right, so at level 30, 30 uh, you get all the next full level. So pick one of the first four cards from your library, fetch that card, then exile the others. It gains X mana. X is the number of cards of that type in your exile. Uh, Feral Gorilla does exile target creature you control, then fetch the first creature with the highest cost that is X or less from your library. Move that card to play under your control, X is four plus the exile creature's cost. So you can have a lower tier one and get one that's bigger. That's kind of cool. Uh, Predator Squad, your creatures get plus X plus X and gain first strike and menace. X is the number of creature cards in your exile. All right, cool. Let's keep it going. All right, now you got 93 hit points at level 46. Monsters Recruitment, Feral Gorilla, all those are at three. Input, you, 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 a lot of stuff. Plus three to white. 
minus one to blue, plus three to black, plus four to red. These are all really good mana gains, man, for a mono walker. Those are actually pretty sick. And then pl uh, minus three still to green. Green, you ain't getting no love from Luca. Luca don't like you on the second floor. All right, so pick one of the first four cards from your library, fetch that card, then exile the others. It gains X mana. X is the number of cards of that type in your exile. Companion, what is the companion? Companion is this card's companion ability is active if your starting deck contains four or more non-human creatures. Cool, we're gonna mutate a lot of creatures, that's gonna be good. If it is a creature card, it gets plus two, plus two. All right, that's fair. Uh, exile target creature you control. Let's read down here. Exile target creature you control, then fetch the first creature with the highest cost that is X or less from your library, yada, 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 the same stuff. It's just plus five now of that creature. And then final one, your creatures get plus X plus X and gain double strike and menace. X is the number of creature cards in your exile. That's pretty beastly. You want to throw a lot of stuff into your exile. I've got some ideas of some exile stuff. We'll have to go check it out. All right, on to the next. And I forgot to mention... Uh, this is level 46 that this is all fully updated. All right, so here is Luca at max level. Uh, we get uh, pick one of the first four cards from your library, fetch that card, then exile the others. Uh, it gains X mana. X is the number of cards of that type in your exile companion. If it's a creature card, plus three, plus three. Otherwise, it gains cycling three. It'd be nice if it gave it both, but that's all right. Uh, exile target creature you control, then fetch the first creature with the highest cost. Okay, I gotta read that again. Exile target creature you control. Then fetch the first creature with the highest cost that is X or less from your library. Move that card to play under your control. X is six plus the exiled creature's cost. So whatever that creature is on the board, plus six for that ability. Oh, I have to scroll up. That's how much text is. I don't think I've ever had to do that with a Planeswalker's abilities. Your creatures get plus X plus X and gain double strike and menace. Then deal damage equal to the sum of your creature's power to your opponent's Planeswalker. Golly, that's like a shot to the face with all your massive creatures. Quartzwood, anybody? Quartzwood? I think Quartzwood's coming into this deck. Uh, and your opponent's Planeswalker, X is the number of creature cards in your exile. And eh, it's still not, I mean, you got to feed a bunch of them. Here's your mana bonuses. This is pretty ridiculous. Plus three, plus, uh, plus three to white, minus one to blue, plus four to black, plus four to red. I rather would have seen that a five or a six, something higher with a mono walker. Meh. And then minus one to green. But that's still, what is that? That's an eight uh that's a nine mana bonus level so it's it's decent i just like seeing stuff normally in their color skew but that's all right uh okay so then that means we've got all of the stuff here let's go ahead and grab oh no i don't want that we're not spending crystals baby we're unlocking for twenty thousand. yes we'll do that because i got three million runes up there and we're going to start filling out these decks so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now and if this is your first time watching me build out a Planeswalker, I just hit autofill so it gets it filled up so I can go build it when I'm actually playing in a tournament so I don't have to go back and do this over and over and over again. All right, all right, there we go. Okay, I'm going to have to play test a little bit more with Luca and probably come back with a deck sketch for you better than this, but I just built a Cyclone deck with him, and it's just stupid. It's, it's, it's the deck, though. It's the cards inside the deck, and I want to build something that's going to spotlight it, but I really don't have time to go in and build something out super fancy. So I'm going to start place testing some stuff with Luca here and come back with a couple of different deck builds that I think really spotlight him. First thing that comes to mind is using... Um, uh, Whirlwind of Thought, putting that in there so it can boost his ability and get them all the way up to, I think it's red, I'm not sure, um, but I'll just show you this deck because it's just, this deck is just a dumb build, it just works really, really well, and we're going to go red o, o red o. what's funny is that Koth has a much better mana gain, he gets 9 plus 9, um, because Luca's mana gains are spread over three different colors and they're all high and good, he's kind of stupid, <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't, just to run this deck, I didn't even need to do anything, it's a mono walker, it limits the cards I can put in the deck, but with this build, you really don't need anything. I didn't even show you the deck, but it's a standard Cyclone build. It's got uh, uh, Unpredictable Cyclone in it. It's got Quartzwood Crasher. It's got two cycling creatures. It's got two cycling spells. It's got two cycling, um, uh, uh, what are they? Um, uh, two cycling uh, uh, supports so that I can go get Mirror March. I can get Quartzwood Crasher, give him haste have him do his rigmarole to do the, the stuff he does. There's no red in here. White is good, too, though. Um, and basically, you just get Unpredictable Cyclone out. You, you cycle all your cards, so you get Unpredictable Cyclone. Let's see if I can draw it here. Nope. Okay, so I have enough to start cycling. Let's see if I can pull it. There it is, right? Just like the doctor ordered. And then you get Unpredictable Cyclone down. Um, 
black, white, and red, of course, is the best. So let's go here for black. So I have to chant what colors I'm playing or else I wind up, <laughs> I wind up not being able to uh, remember everything I was doing with it or I'll, I'll swipe the wrong colors. I really like swiping blue and green. Those are like my go-to colors in every other build I do. And that's why it's bad. It's bad. Ah, uh, look, there's nothing here, man. All right, I'm just going to go here and see if we can get something to drop. All right, I got black on the next one if he doesn't take it. Nope, he's taking blue. Oh, there's red. All right, so I do that. That hits the board. I have some mana stored up, so I should be able to make it cycle. Now, the key to this build is you definitely want to cycle out the cards out of your hand as quickly as possible that are not cyclable cards. Like, Quartzwood's got to go. Mirror March has got to go. Um, I'm going to keep Ruinous because obviously it has the cards that I'm looking for. And the reason you need to do that is because when you cycle the card, sometimes it, it with a, a full hand, it'll actually just give you the card uh, that, you're, um, uh, that you're trying to... It'll draw a card and then it'll fill the space up in your hand and you can't do anything with it. It just, ugh, it just sucks. So we got 24 we're going to be swinging with on the next board. I'm going to... I want to use this first ability here. I really want to get to his third, but I'm not... And, and my thought was, okay, I'm cycling out all of these different cards. There's Genesis, so let's do that. Genesis! All. Pick one of the first four cards from your library, fetch that card, then exile the others. It gains X mana. X is the number of cards that type, if you're yada yada. So I have Companion. It's a creature card. It gets plus three, plus three. It's not. It gets cycling three. All right, so I'm going to confirm. Let's go grab... Uh, yeah, let's grab another spell. Actually, no, we want we want to grab a we want to grab a mirror march. Boom! So we have mirror march now, and <laughs> this is just dumb. This is just dumb. I got haste now. I've got a bunch of cards in my hand for the next go round. Oh, Genesis Ultimatum reloads your hand, and it allows you to go for the next turn. That's pretty much a game. I mean, you're gonna do two points. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna do four points oh no 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 please no all right so we've got a lot of stuff first off again empty out your hand because you're going to be drawing that stuff here in a second i don't need another unpredictable cyclone so i'm going to undo that i'm going to put these puppies up here that's another challenge here it is it's broken unpredictable cyclone does not work on its own deal it draws a card but it, if you do it first but it doesn't actually pull a full powered card which I don't need another Ruinous. That, that ain't the deal. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm just going to cycle the Critter. And I'm going to cycle that so I have another Mirror March. So I'm just thinning the herd. And I can probably destroy all their stuff here. Do I, get some red, do I have a red match? I don't see one. Do I have a black match? No, I have a blue match. I don't need a blue match. Um... All right, let's just let's just go here. See if we can cascade, landfall. There we go. It doesn't really do anything. Not enough red. It's a challenge with running a red deck like this without having any kind of conversion. You often run into not having enough conversion on the board. That's why I'm running the the support that actually does do that. But we never even needed to use our second or third ability. So I'm going to do a deck build that actually spotlights his second and third abilities more. But with this build, Luca is just straight up. Hey, go grab the card you want. Cycle for what you need. Go win the game blows this this build out of the water it's amazing anyways i appreciate you you could have been anywhere in the world for the last 14 minutes just spend that time with me uh, what do you think of luca what's a great set of cards to build out his sets i'm going to go specialize in some stuff take your suggestions build them out split uh play test them you know me i like data i'll figure out which one works best and show you guys the best popper builds the best mid-level builds and some of the best op builds i just showed you an op build that just doesn't even need luca because the cards are so powerful, but it works. Like, subscribe, comment. It really helps the channel out. Uh, and we're at 70. We're going to do something special for 100 subscribers. Once we hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to stream a live uh, build of anything you guys want me to build. I'll go do some gameplay and build some decks out for you guys and show you guys exactly what it is you're looking for. So let's get to 100 subs. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscription button. Let me know what questions you have, what builds, decks you want me to build out. And I will see you in the next one. Till the next, till then, sirs and ladies, swords up. Till our next quest. Talk to you then. Bye bye.